Now, research is the process of steps to collect and analyze data, or if you like, information in order to provide solutions to specific problems or issues or phenomenons around us. Now, research can also be an activity in which people employ systematic or empirical methods in order to answer specific questions. So one can say that research is creating new knowledge or adding to existing knowledge. Sometimes you will notice that a researcher takes on a research that has been done by someone else maybe 5 years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years ago. Now that researcher is doing that to validate the previous research to see if that is the circumstance or that is the situation currently prevailing and sometimes you find out that the current research is a bit different from the results that was found in the previous ones and so there is some debate here and there and some research are also undertaken to provide new knowledge completely there's this popular Hungarian biochemist who says something very interesting about research. He says that research is seeing the things that everybody else sees and thinking in a way that nobody else has thought. And so this is particularly very important because the way we think or the way we see things would influence the way we approach the problems and the way we analyze data in order to arrive at certain conclusions so this means that finding solutions to our everyday challenges and problems would be influenced greatly on the way we think and the way we see things and so someone may see the the glass as half full another person may see the glass as half empty these are two perspectives and two ways of seeing things get it and i must add that the way we see things influence the outcome of our research greatly and so the quality of our thinking ability influences the outcome of the research it is also worth noting that research is undertaken in different capacities and different disciplines and so these different categories or different faculties where research are done would have some alteration they may not all follow the same procedure but then there is a fundamental process of steps that all research go through it is also worth noting that we all do research in one way or the other even the market woman who sits in the market to sell is doing research every day a normal human being going about his day job is doing research every day and we do all this unconsciously let me give you an example you notice that you are obese and you don't like it so that is a problem so problem identification now after identifying the problem you attempted to go online to find out what food can i eat or what activities can i take in order to reduce my body size or um, solve the problem of obesity and so you go online looking for information sometimes you contact people who were in your situation and are now better off and you ask these people what it took for them to come out of that situation so you are taking information from all sources now you put all this information together and then you put it into practice after a month or two or a year you analyze what um, you have done so far and see if it really worked if it did then you would say that oh the information that i got online was really beneficial or the information that i got from people about how to lose weight was really true so in this case you are validating the information that is already in existence sometimes you come up with new knowledge that is information that wasn't already in existence now let us take a brief look into how research is done in various academic level that is the undergraduate level the master's level and the phd level it's an undeniable fact that even though all these levels would follow the same process of steps or the research process 
there may be some intensity or some level of intensity of the research as you move higher the academic ladder with the undergraduate level the purpose of research is necessarily not to provide new knowledge but to equip the students with some tools or some knowledge on how to undertake research students in the master's level are expected to exhibit a higher level of knowledge and a command over their research work so in essence the main difference between an undergraduate research and a master's level research lies in the level of complexity sophistication and completeness of the research work now the phd level research is more advanced as compared to the master's level research and the main goal of the PhD research work is to create new knowledge to the existing body of knowledge so in addition the PhD research work compared to the master's level is more rigorous and there is a higher level of independence and autonomy as compared to the master's level research due to the level of of the complexity of a PhD level research it usually takes a while for the research to be completed sometimes it takes about three years and uh, depending on the field or the discipline in which you find yourself the next video I'm going to create would be bordered on the types or the forms of research that we do around especially in our academic space Kindly like, subscribe, comment and share this video with colleagues and all other individuals who may be interested in this video. This is a very great motivation for me to continue to make similar videos and even better videos subsequently. Thank you very much and have a lovely day.